Hey everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <sighs> okay, in this part we're going to collect some more pulse souls. Um, I think that's pretty much it that we're going to do for this. Okay, so, uh, now we're at Lake Halia. Um, let's go ahead and get this Poe. Okay. There he is. Dang it. And I hate being in water as well because you can't warp. You can't transform into human. So you gotta deal with it. By the way, um, earlier today, before I started recording, I went on the ZeldaUniverse.net. Anyone who wants to, you know, really want to read stuff about Zelda, I recommend you go there, but anyway, I was looking at the enemies, um, on, uh, here, and I saw what an Impo looks like, like, its face, and, oh my god, it looks kind of creepy. Let me see if I can make it out on him. No, I really can't make it out, and why do I keep getting hit? I can't make it out on him. How the heck am I getting hit? Am I getting hit by his backswing? Oh. Right, there's that. Okay, you got a pose, so... Right, now the next one... Um... Hold on, where is it? Oh yeah, it's over here by the Fountain of Riches. Or, Fountain of Riches. I don't know where I got that name from. Um... The, uh... Owl of Riches, that's what I was thinking. There's a pole soul over there, and we're gonna try and go get it. Oh my god, I swear, if I end up not getting every pole soul, because I want to get everyone that's in Lake Hylia up to, um, oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, we'll do this mini game later. No, no. Right, now let's get him. Come down here, please. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess we can't get him. Come on, where is another one? We'll get him later. Alright, so let's go over here. I don't know if you guys can see it on YouTube or not, but oh, if you look in the very back, you can see something glittering. That's the next pole. Poe, you got a really hard. Um, I can already see something glittering on my television, but I can't see it on my preview screen, so I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys should be able to make it out a little bit. Yeah, you guys can definitely see that now. You gotta be kidding me. He cannot get on that. Ugh. I swear, if I do not get... I just want to try and get this guy, and then I think there's two more on Upper Zora River. Finish him. Yay. Alright. Let's see. Where can we go next? Okay, let's warp. To, uh... Yeah, it's warp to, um, Upper Zora River. It's almost daytime, too. Oh, God. This is going to be close. Alright, uh, yeah, that's 
really getting close. Right, come on, go, 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 go. Go, come on, he's right there, he's right there. Wait, what the? What the? You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! It's daytime. It's freaking daytime. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me go to this howling stone. I don't think I've activated it. It's been a little while since I last came here. Okay, uh, I'm not hearing nothing, so I guess I've activated it. Oh my god. Well, hold on. Let me see something. We can go to the bridge of Elden. Dang. Well, where can we go? guys I'm just trying to find a location well, I guess we'll just go here and get the quiver upgrade This game is called Star. Guys, I'm really not in the best mood. <laughs> the pulso was right there. Hey. I hate this guy. I forget his name too. Alright, so now we gotta get the claw shots. Get right there. There's that. Alright. This is very simple the first time. You can there's gonna be two times when we have to do this mini game. And that's to uh, get the this quiver and the larger quiver, or however you say it. I don't know if you say quiver or quiver. I just call it quiver. All right. Oh uh, wait. Talk to these girls after you've beaten it, and if you're kind of low on health, they'll do these hard things, and that's a good way to heal yourself. So, yeah, let's tune in next time, guys, to the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, where we go and do a side. Quiver.